Welcome to Electro Online, and here is our first example of how to use a thin lens, thin lens equation. Uh, now the, uh, the lens that we have has an index of refraction of 1.5. It is in air, which means the index of refraction of the medium is 1. The front radius is 20 centimeters and the back radius is minus 30 centimeters. What does minus 30 centimeters mean? Well, it means that it's bent to the right. The convention for the back side of the lens is that it's bent to the right. It has a negative radius of curvature. Um, so that means that if the front is positive and the back is negative, that automatically will make this a converging lens. Let's see if this comes out that way. So 1 over the focal length of the lens will be equal to 1.5 divided by 1 minus 1 times 1 over the first radius is 20 centimeters minus 1 over a minus 30 centimeters. All right. So we leave everything in centimeters, that means the focal length will come out in centimeters. So 1 over f is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30. Because this minus will cancel out that minus. So we have 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5 times, all right, we need a common denominator here, which looks like it's 60. That would be 3 over 60 plus 2 over 60. So 1 over f is equal to 0 0.5. Make that a good looking 5. There it is. Uh, that would be 5 over 60. And uh, uh, 0 0.5, if we multiply both the top and the bottom by, um, by 2, we get 1 over f is equal to 5 over 120. So that means that f is equal to 120 over 5, which is equal to 24 centimeters. And so that would be the focal length of the lens. That's very straightforward. Notice that it's positive. Positive means that it's a converging lens. And again, let me quickly check the math here. We have 5 over 60. If I multiply top and bottom by 2, that becomes 1. That becomes 120. And so f will be the inverse of that, 120 divided by 5, 24 centimeters. And that is the answer. So that's how you figure out the focal length of a lens. So this is a simple example. On the next one, we'll change the things a little bit. We'll actually put it in a different medium and see what the results of that will be.